Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 70. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega Series. Now let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, so we are here for the Class R3 North America Tour. Uh, we're going to be taking the Panos GTLM. Uh, starting off with Sunset Peninsula, then Road Atlanta, Sedona, Road America... Starting to see this more often now, which is good. Uh, and then Maple Valley. Let's get going. All right, here we go. Row. And we're off. I'm not gonna lie, I don't like the look of this car. It's hideous. Oh God, it looks worse when you actually are in the car. The actual image, it sort of looks a little bit like a 911, but uh, yeah, now it looks... That looks hideous. The fact that it sticks out like that. Uh. Esperante! Oh, bugger. I thought I was going to go a day without accidentally doing that. Bop. Maybe I do. Whoa! Okay, now's the time that I rewind. To be perfectly honest, did not expect that curb to send me flying like that. Meow, meow, meow. Play it on repeat. Do I wanna know? Sad to see you go. I'm sorry to interrupt. That sixth gear ratio seems a bit broken. Why on earth is it like five miles an hour for that sixth gear? Why didn't they make the sixth gear go up to 180 instead?
Maybe I'm too. Not bad. I've done it again. A little less damage this time, though. I got away with that somewhat. Oh, what's he out? Car looks hideous. Looks fucking hideous, man. Crawling back to you. Not bad. Keep it going, keep it going. Come on. Oh. Right, one more lap to go. We go, not too bad. Right, final series of corners, second to last corner. The final corner coming up here. There you go. Race done. 12,000 credits, 12,000 XP. We got a 10% discount on clutch upgrades and 10% discount on exhaust upgrades. All right, here we go. Rem, 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 rem. Not bad. Look at that Viper go. Flying. Someone like you. Someone like you.
Not bad. Someone like you. Five more laps. I'm actually quite excited for tomorrow because uh, I've ordered myself something new. Uh, I've got myself a new watch strap. So I've had my watch for about a year and a bit. And I've still got the strap um, that it came with. So I thought, ah, I'm going to mix it up a bit. But I've always wanted like a proper like metal strap. So, I've ordered a proper metal one. Uh, to replace the one that I've got at the moment. If I don't like it, I'll go for one of the uh, stretchy metal ones. Similar to ones like the Apple Watch had. I don't know if the Apple Watch still has that stretchy metal wristband thing. I recommend the stretchy metal. Ah, fair enough. What's up, Jarrett? How are you today? Welcome. Maybe I won't get the stretchy metal then. I might just end up getting another rubber one. But yeah, I've gone for a like proper sort of like Rolex style metal strap for my watch Feel alive. Black metal link strap. Yeah, basically that. Like a metal link strap thing. I had to get black though, because I've got a black watch. Sort of got like a black bezel on it. Which it would look kind of odd if it wasn't black. Lucky bastard. <laughs> to be honest, though, I don't like the look of gold watches too much. I think they're a bit overhyped. Black or silver? Gold watches are just... Nah. Unless you're literally wearing, like, a blue suit. I think that's the only scenario where a gold watch actually might look okay but for one scenario a gold watch is not worth it 
Anything else, it's nah, not a fan of. I do like silver watches, though. I think they look really, really nice. Black watches are a good second, but they're also a lot cheaper. <laughs> well, I've obviously got a um, black smartwatch thing. It is a Huawei GT2. Very nice. Very good smartwatch, actually. Um, it does what a smartwatch needs to do. Tell the time. Maybe track your fitness. That's about it. None of this fancy nonsense that Apple keeps adding to it. Oh, look. You can send your heartbeat to your friends and, like, use Siri and all that. It, like, that's just a gimmicky thing. This just has the bare basics, and it lasts for three weeks on a single charge. If an Apple Watch could last three weeks on a single charge, then maybe I'd see it as a viable option. Like an Apple Watch literally only lasts about a day and a half, maybe two days, tops. It's just not worth it. Oh shit, I think you sent me a photo. Let me have a look. Ah! That was your fault! <laughs> Part of our town. There we go, result. Oh, do you know what? Not bad. What, um. Oh, that's a Garmin one, so that's like a hybrid watch, isn't it? It's like a smart watch with an actual analog uh, watch hands. That's not bad. <laughs> Using a phone while driving, bad. Agreed. <laughs> Don't recommend it. As an, a, Another reason why I'm getting the watch strap is because my um, granddad has bought the exact same watch as me. Um... So, just to avoid us mixing our watches up, so I don't use his by accident. If I've got straight up a different watch strap. This is that new um, David Getter blue remix. Yo, listen up. Here's a story. Not bad. I can't see. The sunlight hurts my eyes. I'm gonna have the best fucking night of my life. Dun, 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 dun. Esperante. I don't know why, I really love saying that word. It's brilliant. It's just plastered on the back of this car. Esperante. I can only imagine it's like Italian or French, maybe.
Uh, I've not. I'm going to play it tonight. I think for a game like that, as long as it hits 30 frames a second uh, and still looks okay, that should be good for me. If it can push 60 and get away with 60, fair fucking play. But even if it can hit 30 FPS, I'll be impressed because it's quite a beefy game. I have installed it, so it's there ready. I can try it out, but... It is going to be quite cool to um, actually play that. Because if it does run well, then I, I... I mean, I've played the Stadia version of Assassin's Creed Odyssey, so... It's not that hard to beat that. Granted, Stadia's shutting down now. I'm so confused why Stadia is shutting down. It baffles me. Like, I understand, like, cloud gaming as a whole is not there yet. The world's internet infrastructure is not fast enough to cope with cloud streaming. Being able to game without being on the same country as the computer you're gaming on. That, just, that infrastructure just does not exist yet. But... Yeah, I know. Killed by... I need to have a look at that. <laughs> I know they kill everything, but they only kill off projects they deem that aren't financially viable. Oh, shit. But, like, even though cloud gaming isn't picking up yet, and it's not going to until... The thing is, right, cloud gaming doesn't need upgrading. There's no way that Google or Xbox can upgrade how their cloud servers work at all. There's just no nothing they can do. They have to rely on the world to change for their idea to work. But even then, like, out of all of the cloud gaming services, you know, NVIDIA GeForce, um, Stadia, PlayStation Now... Xbox Cloud, X Cloud. Out of all of them, Stadia was the most enjoyable. So, in all honesty, I find it. I find it strange. That Google is shutting it down. But yeah, cloud gaming just isn't where it should be. There's no way it's going to be a viable option at all yet. Not for a while. I bet that you look good on the dance floor. Haha. <laughs> I bet that you look good on the dance floor. Bet that you look good on the dance floor. From 1984. Bollocks. 
this car's not done a bad job at um, driving. It's quite an enjoyable car around this track. A little bit unstable, but not terrible. I bet that you look good on the dance floor. Not bad. You look good on the dance floor. A little bit too much corner there. That sunlight is pretty blinding though. And there we go. Result. 17,000 credits, 13,000 XP. We got a 10% discount on valves and displacement upgrades. Road America. I'm a puppet on a string. What a tune. Rem, rem, rem. Keep going. I didn't realize that I found that many songs today. Two hours and 38 minutes. Yeah, I didn't think I added that much. What are you doing? Get back. Esperante. She's a silver lining. Where I want to be. Like a distant memory. Yeah, right, you still in chat? No, sounds good. Um, did you see the new uh, RTX forty ninety results on a uh, LTT? Honestly, I am kind of jaw dropped at how. I obviously knew Cyberpunk was a really intense game, but I didn't realize how low a frame rate it runs on a 3090 with on 4K. I thought the 3090 could be able to storm through that game, but clearly it can't. But the 4090 has a jump with ray tracing in 4K from like 25 to 30 FPS all the way up to nearing 80, 90 frames a second. It's ridiculous. It's like four times the performance. Since if I could afford to buy you one, I would have bought myself one. Let's be honest. But, to be honest, with how, um, uh, what's it called? How cheap they're getting. I could actually afford to get myself, like, a 3080. And sell on my, well, maybe not sell on my 3060, but. We're not at a point where I can sell my graphics card and get a good, 
amount of money now. So. But I could build a second build. Like these. I love this song. But yeah, 3070 is still a really, really good graphics card. It's going to be a while before they become irrelevant, to be honest. Because of how powerful they are. Like, I mean, the GTX 10, 1080 is only starting to slow down in terms of being able to keep up with modern day gaming. Yeah, that's not a bad idea, to be honest. I'm obviously looking for... Uh. I want to get a 40 series only because of the... F Here's the thing. I don't want to get a 40 series graphics card. Because they are ridiculous. In terms of how expensive they are. But... So, all of the RTX 30 series don't have AV1 encoders on them, but the 40 series does have the brand new AV1 encoders, and AV1 encoding, honestly, is so much better than MVANC, so much better, in quality, everything, it just looks... Like, the amount of quality you can get for your bits... Well, no, because 8,000 kilobits a second looks the same as three, th about 4,000 with AV1. So I could literally make my stream look like a Twitch partner stream just by swapping to AV1 encoding. Obviously, Twitch partners will also start swapping and then theirs will look better, but that's besides the point. Yeah, my case isn't long enough. It barely fits in a 3060, so... It should be able to fit in a 3070, but a 3080 or 3090 it wouldn't fit. But, to be fair, I've got a Gigabyte card, and they've got, like, ridiculously sized parts to it, so you could probably find a smaller card. We're waiting for the RTX 9090. But yeah, I want to... I want to have a look into AV1 encoding, but the only thing is, right... If in, uh, Intel actually release the graphics card... Uh, their cheaper model... I think it's like the A3... A170 or A something. Basically, it's a like. Uh, it's. I think it's lower than that still. There's one that they announced that what well, they didn't announce it, but they've been talking about it. That there was going to be a really cheap graphics card for that architecture that has an AV1 encoder on it. But even then, I'm looking at building a standalone PC with an Intel graphics card in it. Just because of the fact it has an AV1 encoder. It would not be used for anything other than encoding. And obviously running Windows. Duh. But like, I'm tempted. Get a Ryzen CPU. Probably this one that's in here and upgrade this one for the gaming build. Um... Linus's was putting an Intel card into a PC, uh, like into the same build. I'm on about two separate builds, so I avoid the problems of having two cards in one build. So, 
Best of both worlds, really. But I'm tempted to do it at some point. Because I only need to spend about 300, 300 quid, really. I'd need cheap... Well, I need a new motherboard for this PC, new RAM, and a new CPU. Everything else, and a cheap case. Because I'd just take one of the hard drives out of this. Problem solved. But honestly, seeing how um, Intel has come into the market with their graphics cards, sure, maybe it might not be good for gaming, but with how good the AV1 encoding is on that actual card, it's not bad. Yo, jump down. Thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate it, man. Burr, burr, burr. Thank you very much for that follow. Um, but yeah. Having um, an Intel card. Yeah, so all, all I would need is a new motherboard, a new case. Oh, yeah, power supply as well. Forgot about that. You a snitch, that's a no no. Yeah, but what's that fo uh, folder set up as? Is it set up on your boot drive? Or is there a way I can set it up so that I can just have it as straight to my SSD? So that if I transfer a file into it, it goes straight to my SSD, you know? Because again, even if I'm transferring it to a hard drive, that's still then transferring it to a hard drive to then get transferred to an SSD. Because I can't edit my footage off of a hard drive. It's too big um, and it absolutely bottlenecks my PC. If it's running off a hard... Because the hard drive is then the bottleneck and it's just fucking ridiculous. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, I'll give you a ring about it in like a year and a half when we start doing Forza Horizon 3 on PC. How's that sound? Because <laughs> I'm doing Horizon 3, Motorsport 7, Horizon 4 and Horizon 5 on PC. It's quite cool, this um, playthrough. We're doing four games on Xbox uh, 360, four games on Xbox One, and four games on PC. So it's slap bang in the middle. Until the new Falls of Motorsport comes out. Granted, as long as we are playing that in the playthrough and it's not like a live service thing. Then that would make it 5 on PC. And also if they're releasing it on PC. I don't see why they wouldn't. It'd be fucking stupid not to. On your shoulders, I can hold you. But yeah, pretty cool. I think by the time I look into getting um, a second PC, the new B uh, thing is. I can't believe of all the systems Switch gets the most cross-play PC ports. What do you mean by that? Does it? Fair enough. 
Let me hold you. Let me hold you. Oh, cross save. What? So that's like you play a game on one platform. You carry it on on the next, yeah. Do you know, the Steam Deck is the first thing that I've actually had that's like properly supports like cross save. Other than Forza Horizon 4 and 5 on Xbox. Those ones support a cross save. I've never really experienced any other games that are on PC as well. And Cuphead. Like three games that I've experienced. And that's within the Xbox ecosystem, so... Oh yeah, Borderlands 2 had the cross save, didn't it? Forgot about that. Which means Borderlands 2 probably also has cross save on Switch. Because there's a Borderlands 2 game on Switch as well. And the pre-sequel, so it might have pre-sequel cross save. Let me hold you. Not gonna lie, if I didn't get a Steam Deck by the end of this year, more than likely I would have bought a Switch. Just because I wanted some handheld game in something. But obviously the Steam Deck came available and I was like, yeah, fuck it, I'm getting it. It came available way too early though, I'll be honest. I was sort of wanting it for like November, December time. No. I don't, I'm not a fan of Nintendo. Because I don't like the company itself. They're quite a nasty company. Which is really weird because they've got... Well, it probably makes sense because they got a really friendly cover. Like the on the outside, they're like, "Oh yeah, we got Mario. Oh, it's such a, we got Kirby. Look how adorable our games are. We're so cute." But they are the fucking nastiest corporation out of all of the video gaming industry. Even nastier than Nvidia, and Nvidia is pretty fucking bad. But I can tell you for a fact. Nintendo is worse. Even PlayStation has some shit. It's pretty bad. Nah. I tried emulating PSP stuff on the Switch. Uh, it's not great. I'll be honest. Uh, but I'll explain more in the next race. Um, because it's it's quite hard to explain. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy be sure to leave a like comment down below and subscribe and i will see you in the next one peace out